And that's typically who you see is in a list of their customers. Not as many, you know, global 2000 companies that are, you know, tire, you know, tire manufacturers and uh, banks, things like that. Um, but they're starting to gain traction in those areas as well. So anybody who's special purpose focus on AI core weave is typically going to be more attractive. AWS, you know, every Fortune 500 company out there, every Global 2000 company out there is going to have some sort of AWS usage within their walls. So web mobile platforms, banks, things like that, everybody finds AWS attractive just because of the general purpose nature of that public cloud provider. So what about support, which is going to be more important than you think? CoreWeave provides direct, responsive support. Uh, you're able to pick up a phone and call somebody, email somebody, you know, chat with somebody. Uh, and more flexibility for AI use cases. Obviously, if you're calling CoreWeave and talking about support, they're not going to have to context switch are you. Oh, you need to talk to the database person. If you're calling AWS, you need to talk to the transaction processing person, the middleware person. All they do is AI, and therefore their support uh, infrastructure, people who are able to provide help to you, are going to be very for focused on those use cases. So it's probably easier to get at core help uh, when needed when you're building deploying AI systems. AWS supports multiple support tiers, global enterprise coverage, and obviously general purpose stuff. And so in other words, they certainly support their AI workloads, but they also need to support their databases and serverless stuff and container containers as a service, all that kind of stuff. Just a multitude of things that have to be you know, provided or supported out of the same support infrastructure is going to cause some confusion and you're probably going to run into some, to some latency and in getting to the right people.